Next segment will be the lower premolars. The lower premolars and the lower molars are a bit uh, tricky. Why? Because we have the floor of the mouth. The floor of the mouth and the tongue, the tongue is not present in this mannequin. Uh, I have removed it for uh, demonstration purposes. Okay. Uh, floor of the mouth, uh, our patients, let me talk about the proper thing to do and then we will uh, discuss the rest. So, uh, you reflect for the lower premolars. See, premolars are all, uh, sometimes within the uh, curvature of the mandible. So, you reflect and if you want the premolars, then the two premolars should be in the center of the thing. Okay. So, you don't mention the tongue, huh? Don't mention the tongue to the patient. You introduce the film oblique and inside the patient's mouth, try to put the film or the sensor between the tongue and the mandible, okay? And insert it downwards. Of course, the, f uh, the sensors are not flexible as, as this film. If, if it is in the film, it will, it will follow the arch. But sensors are a bit uh, or they are actually, they are uh, hard plastic, so they cannot be bent. So you don't need to bend them. Uh, you just put the sensor in this direction. See, it forms like a triangle. It's not in the one, two, three. Okay. But in, in, so, uh, in doing so, I'm also keeping the two millimeters, the two millimeters above the, let me just see. I'll support it. So, the film, two premolars, two premolars in the middle, okay? And the film is slanted in this, or tilted in this direction. Patient support should be against the crowns. I'll bring it a little bit back so that I will make sure that the two premolars are in the middle. Now, because I'm demonstrating on this uh, film, it will be bent. Otherwise, in the, in the sensors, it will not be bent. See, this is the arch. This will be the arch. And the film is in this direction, sensor. But when, but when, we, are using, when we are using a film, the film is bent, just like in this case. Either way, even if the arch is in this direction and you make it just, you keep this straight, the idea is the same. You don't need to change anything. Okay. So... Your point of entrance will be from the pupils of the eye, here for the upper premolars. Now extend it down, you will end up with the lower premolars. So our point of entrance is directed at a line dropped from the pupils of the eye, perpendicular line, down to the uh, aletragus, downwards on the premolars. This is one. Now let's come to angulations. In angulations, first of all, you direct the beam so that it will be perpendicular on the tooth. Okay? perpendicular on the tooth. This is elongated image. Next, you will look at your sensor and make the cone directed perpendicular on the sensor. This is a short image. Next is you direct it midway between the angle, those two angles, and the angle will be here around minus 20 to 25. Again, it depends on the angle. Small angle, you might, my, minus 10 is enough. Large angle, as I will, I, I will show you, you extend the angle. Anyways, we will, we will now for demonstration purposes, we will go with minus 20. This is the vertical angulation. Second is the horizontal angulation. Make the beam, the pen, again, I will show you the pen over here, pass between the contact points. So make it you will do it so that it will be perpendicular on the buccal surface of teeth. This is the horizontal angulation. Next is the coverage. Coverage, you stand behind the uh, x-ray machine and you include the free margin of the film, see? The free margin of the, of the film within the, within the cone. So this margin is now inside the uh, uh, round area, rounded area of the cone. Done. Very simple. Vertical angulation, horizontal angulation, 
Now, the uh, uh, point of influence, we know it. And uh, the uh, last is the coverage. And you make your exposure. Once the exposure is done, take this out, hold the film, and <coughs> remove the film. There is one thing important to be said about the floor of the mouth. Sometimes when you extend the film, try to extend it down to the floor of the mouth, the patient will try to make the muscles, mylohyoid muscle, tense. Because this is, uh, 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 you know, like a reflex. So what you do, you've se I've se I think you've seen this condition too many times, right? The the film extends well above the uh, occlusal uh, surface of teeth. You try to press down the film, it doesn't go, right? Because the mylohyoid muscle is very, very tense. So you keep on pressing, the patient makes the muscle more tense, which might, if you, co if you continue on with this, you might end up with gagging reflex. The best way to, to avoid this or to correct this condition is that once you feel that the patient is trying to make him this muscle very tense, is that you try to distract the patient's attention from the floor of the mouth. See, this is the floor of the mouth, and the film is touching here. I want, I want to distract the patient from this area of contact of the film so that I will make this muscle loose. How do we achieve this? Once you place the film and you feel that the patient is very muscles is very high, uh, tight. Move your free hand, finger, and try to put it below, exactly on the below the area, exactly on the opposite of the area that is being made tense by, by the patient. You know what I mean? So, if the if this is the mylohyoid and this is the film, and the patient is trying to make the film uh, a muscle is very tense, you move your fingers down, down from below, exactly underneath the film. And tell the patient, please make this loose. This works like magic. Once you tell him to make this loose, that you will see that the muscle will be very loose and the film might go down so that it goes even below the occlusal surfaces of teeth. Okay? So the idea, the key point is distraction from the contact between the margin of the film and the floor of the mouth down by putting your fingers down you will distract the patient so that he will not be uh, 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 he will loosen that muscle immediately